Greetings. This is the second part of the tutorial uh, regarding the um, uh, H.265 uh, TBS encoder. We're gonna try in this tutorial to cover um, everything uh, regarding the web interface and the controls over the um, uh, H2, H.265 encoder. Uh, first of all, you have a web interface to connect. To access this web interface, you have to type in 192.168.1.168. This is the standard IP address of the encoder. The standard user and password is uh, root and uh, root, of course. Uh, in my case, it's changed because I will test also with internet connectivity and um, I have to put a different password. So, first of all, I'm going to log in as you can see. Uh, first tab is the status tab. On the status tab, we have um, uh, access address where we can find the um, capture stream from the HDMI, the video parameters, uh, audio parameters, and hardware status how many times it's interrupting, missing interrupt number, and stuff like that. Um, this uh, H2.265 uh, uh, encoder have one single HDMI input. Uh, basically, the second one is disabled, as you can see also in the panel. Also, the CBBS is disabled. The uh, analog connection so uh, we're gonna proceed further in the network settings network settings this is the default settings at the moment DHCP is disabled we have the IP address the net mask gateway DNS and of course this is the MAC address of the encoder each encoder have his own MAC address okay the second panel it's the HDMI main input now here is very interesting because um, um, we have uh, here uh, settings for H.264 and we have also settings for H.265 encoding. Uh, we have uh, three profiles, baseline profile, main profile and high profile. I usually use the baseline profile, of course the encoding frame rate, the bitrate control which can be variable fixed and uh, constant I'm gonna use for this test the variable bit control key interval the encoded size of the stream of course uh, minimum uh, frames maximum frames bitrate uh, how much bandwidth will uh, will have the stream of course the web port uh, HDMI uh, HTTP port, yeah. HTTP port, I uh, tried to change it because I wanted to forward the port through the through my router and make the stream available also from internet. So from 8080 port standard HTTP port, I change it to 8010. Okay, there are also possibility to there is also possibility to stream in different formats such as RTSP uh, of course all you have to do is just to click enable in the first second when you enable uh, the HTTP will got get disabled okay this is the port of course of uh, RTSP port and uh, RTSP can be managed to send out UDP traffic or TCP traffic. We have also a unicast IP if we want to send unicast inside to the network to a specific device. Unicast port and of course uh, it's possible to um, stream also multicast, multicast mode uh, with multicast port and RTP of course and RTP port, RTMP server IP. We can have a lot of lo a lot of um, interesting options to stream out uh, as I said uh, only the HDMI main is working uh, here you will see also the HDMI second but this as I said 
it's kind of disabled it's not working uh, you won't see this uh, this uh, parameters in in the screen CVBS also it's disabled but uh, it have settings here and uh, of course audio settings which yet again very important we can set audio input from HDMI the bitrate audio channel audio codec for audio codec we have HAC or MP3 resampling I disable the resample because there is no uh, advantages at the moment for uh, resampling the sound and uh, of course this is it about audio we have also HDMI OSD settings we can uh, make the screen uh, lighter or darker uh, CVBS it's uh, I told you it's uh, disabled HDMI color we can set again some uh, stuff regarding the color of the HDMI uh, of the receiver and uh, some image settings for uh, enhancing the quality of the stream and of course we have the the system system uh, tab the system tab it's very easy we have system settings reset to 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 the default settings and also we have uh, the button on the side of the encoder which allow allow us to reset the encoder to the factory default hard reset the encoder we have also a reboot key the reboot key here is very useful because after you apply new settings uh, a restart of the encoder a reboot of the encoder it's uh, necessary all the time okay we can change the password here and here we have the upgrade settings how we can upgrade when the new firmware are uh, coming out from the um, uh, TBS uh, engineering team uh, one uh, little uh, word about the one little uh, intervention about the firmware the firmware is very easy to to upgrade uh, all you have to do is choose file uh, select the file uh, after you select it click upload first then after it's successfully uploaded you can press upgrade and this is it you will uh, it will take some time it will reboot by itself and you will have uh, the unit upgraded as you can see this one is upgraded to the latest and most stable version it's 1.0.6 so uh, we go back to the status uh, the access address is HTTP 192.168.1.168 uh, 2 uh, slash HDMI uh, okay let's see if uh, we drop this IP address to to the VLC if it's opening as you can see it instantly we have here National Geographic uh, Wild HD you can see it's uh, HD quality and uh, of course uh, we can uh, have more statistics to see if the parameters which we set first of all we will take them in scope to see if the parameters are same we asked uh, not more than uh, max bit rate one megabyte yeah here it is it won't cross more than one one megabyte one and ten Okay, and uh, okay, uh, you will see also uh, the codec. It says it's uh, HEFC H.265 codec. The resolution is uh, 1024 uh, per 576, is the same resolution as here, and it's H.265, as I told you. Okay, sample rate, fit per sample, this is not very important. Content bitrate, as you can see. Let's see some quality. Quality, it's quite amazing. Have a look. It's just amazing. This HD stream is compressed at one megabyte. The raw stream uh, 
uh, bandwidth of this uh, of this stream usually is 18, uh, 10 to 12 uh, megabytes, N and now it's running with um, one megabyte, just one megabyte. Amazing. Okay, this is it. Thank you uh, for watching this, and uh, we're expecting you future uh, uh, new products from uh, TBS. Have a nice and pleasant day, and uh, if you like my video, click like on the uh, YouTube channel. Bye-bye.